In this video, I'll show you probably the most powerful and easiest way of texturing in Blender. I'm gonna take this scope and bring it from this to this in only a few clicks. Let's go. Now, before we start, let me tell you that if you're a beginner in Blender, I highly recommend you grab our Jumpstart Hard Surface in Blender course, which will give you all the foundations for Blender and Hard Surface, including modeling, rendering, the UI, everything. It's a free course, link is in the video description. Enjoy. Okay, so let me show you how quickly you can add mats and edgeware with our add-on material works without the necessity of going to Substance Painter or, you know, UV unwrapping or doing all of these bollocks. So here what we're going to do is we're going to slap a mat on one of these. I got some trim sheets running in here, but I'm probably going to nuke them. So I'm going to nuke that and I'm going to hide my decals temporarily. So hang on a second, let me just collapse these collections hide the decals so they're not gonna get selected insert a fine cool so i'm gonna press ctrl i shift click on this mod here and change it to something interesting let's go with uh, metal and maybe coated titanium which is kind of similar but we're gonna make it a little bit uh, less shiny so let's select this and let's uh, just drop the roughness a bit flip it here and now you can see we can adjust it in here to a similar roughness then let's go and grab this color now i can make this color darker uh, and can kind of match this really well okay awesome now by doing that we're gonna be uh, matching uh, the underlying layers on the decals so we don't have to worry about that Cool, now I want some of these elements to be of a different uh, mat, but you know, and let's just control I, shift this, uh, shift click this and uh, edit. And now we have this coated titanium running on everything. Now these could be rubber, so we can go to rubber and go with maybe rubber tire. It should be alright. And the same with this one and this one actually, so we could do that. And I think that's pretty cool. And these screws could be darker. So what we could do is unlink this. Uh, so it's going to be a different mod. Coded Titanium 001. And we can select this and copy that. And actually make this one a bit darker. Yeah? So it's going to be like a darker Titanium, right? Uh, which is pretty cool. This one could be the same, you know. So copy that just to make it a bit more interesting, right? Awesome. So that will do, and maybe this button also could be rubber, yeah? So, you know, rubber. And now we got three mods going on, plus decals, and now what we need to do is uh, simply adjust the uh, the edgeware. So let's grab this coated titanium, go to where, and you can see automatically where it's appearing on all the titanium pieces, because the mat is shared between 10 elements. And now I can actually Collect this wire here and start adjusting stuff. So I want to uh, lower down this um, in the impact of this wire all over the mat, and I want to actually adjust uh, the edge wire itself. So let's just uh, increase the scale and also um, increase the number of samples. Going to make it a little bit more detailed, but I also want to copy the color. So let's go here and copy the color. And then we can make it just a little bit brighter, yeah. So it's not gonna be so eye poking, yeah. Cool, and also let's just drop the saturation to zero, okay. Cool, now we can adjust the width as well. We can make it, you know, a little bit more crazy like this, that's cool. And maybe drop the strength a little bit, yeah. So it, there's a wear, but you know, it's just, it's in reasonable, okay. Uh, let's just save this, so power save. And now, and we're gonna be adding more layers so now what we can do for example is we can add a little bit of dust right so let's go to dust and uh, we can choose different types of dusts here uh, so for example maybe let me see this one is interesting so let's just add that and make it a little bit uh, less impactful and also maybe change the color to something really dark yeah so this dark dust is gonna be, you know, kind of dark. It's like smudges more than dust. You see that? That's very cool, all right? And it's all over the scope, so it looks a bit more dirty. Maybe that's too much. And then we can add maybe um, another layer of smudges. Let's go with smudges B. 
gonna add like streaks or maybe something different maybe d that's too bright oh it's pretty cool actually so let's just lower the you know the opacity of this and that looks pretty cool to me and now we have to do the same to the rubber so just add some more edge work so let's go here to where and let's um go to this general wear and we're going to make it really dark right and the same thing with with the edge i just make it darker yeah really dark okay and let's create some kind of a dirt effect here increase the samples that's pretty cool and we can add some uh dust here as well right so let's add some dust it's gonna be like you know dirty from fingers and from touching it maybe, maybe a little bit less maybe we could change the color here too so um, maybe a little bit a little bit of color there we go all right that's pretty cool maybe that's a little bit too much here where is this one right yeah i just dropped this down a bit there you go and I think that will do. And these ones also need something. So edgeware. And let's just uh, drop it down a bit. You know. It's going to be worn out. Here's the samples. Drop the strength to something lower. Alright. Drop the width. There we go. And add something more to it. So another edge layer. Let's go maybe with... Um, with edgeware and let's see what we can do here and maybe drop the opacity here too to make them a bit more dirty there we go let's push this one a little bit up that looks pretty cool to me and there you go and then we can render this so let's just uh, enable the plane here it's this one and the plane itself could be also, you know, with an edgeware uh, or some kind of a dirt. So what we could do is remove this uh, mud here. But honestly, I think this is fine. It will kind of emphasize this, you know, uh, the scope. And here we can select the camera. There we go. And let's go to depth of field settings. And let's just uh, select maybe this ring. And make it 1.4 a really shallow depth of field or maybe 1.8 so the background and foreground we're gonna fall out you see this this looks really cool um, so now we can render this so let's make sure that uh, our render settings here are correct let's go over bolt here right that's cool and let's render this here so now you can see that here we have uh, two layers. I always render two layers, one with and one without a background. Because now I'm going to be able to adjust them separately. So if I go here and brighten up this scope, because it's a bit, bit dark. So let me go here and adjust the camera settings. So I'll just pump some clarity to really make this pop. And, you know, open up the shadows. There we go. Then I can very easily select this scope and uh, create a mask. And you can see that uh, this will darken the background, which actually is not something I might want. Although this could be interesting. Hang on. Let me just lower the density of the mask. That's actually pretty good. And then I could brighten the, the left side. Hang on. So let's select this, shift Control i Let's grab the curves and brighten this part up. And then we're gonna run a gradient tool here from this side on this mask. So let me see that now. Yeah, that's gonna, that gonna work, I think. Make it a bit darker. There we go. So that's perfect. Then we can go to our Nick collection to finish it. Cool. And let's just add some pro contrast. Brilliant. And maybe some cross processing. 
Let me see if we have something better here. That's actually pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. And maybe gonna add some um, film grain. And drop the opacity on it. I should do. Could lower the strength of this uh, cross processing here. And maybe lift the shadows on this uh, pro contrast, maybe a little bit more. And the background is a little bit too bright, I think. So we might actually darken it down. So let's see. Um, curves and maybe something like this. And then we have to fix this corner here with content aware and we're done cool all right guys well that's finished the uh, scope this is how easy you can add edgeware and damage to your models with material works if you're interested there is a link in the video description go ahead and snatch it there's 50 mats created by a professional mod artist and also 25 edgeware mods and we're gonna be pushing the development towards uh, support of uh, degas and trim sheets and beyond there's a lot coming to material works in 2024 i'm sure you're gonna enjoy the add-on thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one